welcome back. We have had some great segments today. And, you know, really this is stuff that people aren't talking about. You know, we have to have, keep ourselves, uh, our self-care a priority. Yes. Um, and that's what we really support with our caregiving community after being in uh, adult day for a little over 10 years, uh, we understood what caregivers were going through. And that is why we wanted to do this today was bring some different um, tips and just things to think about that keep your self-care a priority. And uh, so, <laughs> so you're here with the McKinley directors. Um, you know, I don't think I introduced myself earlier, but. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure but most of you um, that signed up hopefully know who I am. I'm Aisha Cooper with uh, as the resource director here. And this is Michelle, our Michelle. mills director. Hi, how are you? And um, we've been together for... Since birth. <laughs> Since birth. No, we were separated. Yeah, we were separated. No. <laughs> um, but we've been together in... Um, we were brought together in the adult day center um, when you came uh, to work for us and um, started off in a position as program director and, and did fabulous. Talk a little bit about your the role that you had. At, in the adult day as mm -hmm. program director. Um, and with the program director, I, I not only just oversee like the uh, CNAs and our participants daily, but I try to create um, every day a different day, a different adventure, whether that be through arts, music, entertainment, um, through book clubs. We had um, sensory clubs. Oh, we just went on and on and on. <laughs> but it just really kept everyone engaged, no matter um, if they were verbal or nonverbal, especially with music. Music would bring out the best in everyone. So, mm -hmm. so it was sometimes hard for us to believe um, how difficult sometimes I guess the participants would be at home because we had the best of them here. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had so much fun um, with our participants and I think that's the part that um, I will miss the most um, during our pivot. But with our pivot, um, we're, since we understood some of the caregiver burnout, um, we wanted to bring and support the caregiving community in a different way. Sure. And so we've talked about decluttering today. We've talked about the joy of reading. We've talked about taking a long walk. And sometimes it's just as simple as giving you permission to do it. You deserve a break, even if it's just five minutes. Um, you can rejuvenate yourself, make better decisions, uh, be more calm. And that's how we want to support the caregiving community is just to um, bring all this, these nourishing elements to your life. So yeah. you're going to talk about journaling. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. um, journaling that has no rules. And it's so different because you hear about journaling and how to journal. Uh, make sure you set that time of day every day, same time, sit down writing in your journal. Stay consistent to reach your goals. That is not this type of journal. Okay. Because um, we don't want to overwhelm. Uh -uh. So. so, especially with our adult day with our participants and their families, they know that I really didn't like the rules. Like we had to kind of bend them and shake them. <laughs> because everybody isn't, doesn't follow the same plan. It's not, it's not like that. No, no one's the same. So with journaling, um, I've learned recently a different approach, if you will. Um, but, you know, just caregiver stress is no doubt. Mm -hmm. When you are caring for an ailing loved one, uh, spouse, friend, neighbor, whoever that may be, you know, you are going to ultimately um, underestimate your own self and the good work that you are doing for them and affecting your own health. Mm -hmm. And so with caregivers, they get caught up in that emotion trap of guilt, grief, resentment, anger, worry, loneliness, and we all do it. You know, we all do it. So, you know, that can all just lead to depression. 
And we really have to be the best version of ourselves during, especially as a caregiver, to be able to provide the best care for our loved one. And the best version of ourself comes from self love, self care. <laughs> it comes from here. So, um, so journaling. Um, what I'm going to tell you today is not something that I created myself. Um, I'm always looking for the coolest and the neatest little tricks here and there, wherever I can find them to bring them to our caregivers. Um, so a blogger had shared something that her professor had taught her for journaling. And that is you get two books. So you get you a black book and you get you a gold book. I like the gold book. Oh yes. Amazon is my friend. <laughs> so uh, the, the black book is where, you know, when you're dealing with all of those emotions and daily task of caregiving for someone else, you're also dealing with your own life and your own family and your own children. And so there's going to be times when you just feel frustrated. You may be in a heated debate, unfortunately, with your loved one that you're caring for. Uh, I don't know, the system living may have called and they need to discuss another option. We need you, doctors, new medicines, whatever that may be. But that's where the black book comes in. When you're angry and you're frustrated, those are real emotions and they're raw. I, it's raw. They're real. Um, you take out your black book whenever you want to do that. Uh, I'm going to recommend as soon as you're upset, start doing it because you don't have to make, you know, you don't have to write complete sentences. It don't have to make sense. You just put your feelings down because those are your emotions and you have the right to express those. And so writing in your black book, um, you write down all of that, black, all the bad stuff, all the bad mm -hmm. stuff. That is the way you're going to be able to lift a little bit of that stress off of you. You're going to feel relief, you know, pretty immediately, which is overall going to help your health. The best book that I love is the gold book. So the black book, we're going to get in. Everything that's raw, real, real talk here. Um, and don't hold back. Don't, you're, there's no reason to. No one's judging you. This is yours. These are your emotions. And you're never going to be wrong for the way you're feeling. Right. I mean, it's yours. It's yours. The gold book. Um, I like gold. So whatever <laughs> book you want that to be. This is where you're going to write all your good stuff in. Mm -hmm. All your positive stuff. Uh, you had a great morning over breakfast with your loved one. They reminisced with you. They shared stories of their youth or about their favorite music or favorite childhood friend, whatever that may be. Those stories that they may tell you over and over, write them down. Anytime, uh, say you've been working with your loved one to complete a, a task and today that task was accomplished, write it down. So what you're gonna be focusing on is you're still gonna see all your positives and they're always gonna outweigh this right here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you want to make sure you got that balance. You well, know? especially when you're taking all the, the, when you're taking the negative thoughts yes. out mm -hmm. and putting them in and the black put, book and then putting, and putting the good thought, you can, you know, you can, you're releasing so yeah. that you can identify what those good feelings are. You can, are. you yeah. can. Um, but to me, the gold book's going to come in handy for you, really, for me, uh, for you. Let's say in the event that your loved one may have moved away, um, was placed, or unfor unfortunately, maybe um, their journey has expired here on this earth with us. Um, that is when you're going to take this white book and you're just going to burn it. Oh, oh, and we just have to be. Oh, yeah. Burn. Why don't we have it lit? But anyway, <laughs> I'm a pyro, so we're going to burn this white book. That's all your negatives all the bad, all the, those feelings that you had, you're going to burn that. And then you're going to be left with your gold book mm -hmm. that is full of all those precious memories that uh, you went, that you are able to experience with your loved one on those good days, those stories. Um, it could be music, it could be friends, whatever. You're going to be able to experience that. And that's going to get you through some of your hardest days. And yeah, it's not just a hard day, but even just want to relive it at the holidays. You want to break it out and be like, oh yeah, mom said blah, blah, blah. And everybody laughed, you know, they can really say some 
funny things at times and may not be the most appropriate times, which makes it funnier to me, but mm -hmm. that's just me. <laughs> um, but overall, just the journaling um, is going to lift that weight off of you. Mm -hmm. And in return, it's going to help boost your immunity, um, digestive, heart, just overall, it's going to help you mm -hmm. in the long run. Yeah, get those so, feelings out. Yeah, you have a right to them. Get them out. Yeah. Yeah. And don't feel guilty about what you're feeling. No. Yeah. It's, no. you know, all throughout today, we've talked about giving permission. Um, and I say that because uh, when, I, when I first taught uh, Powerful Tools for Caregivers, our very first session, it was a six-week course for caregivers. Um, and at the end, we always ask for feedback. And she said, thank you for giving permission, giving me permission to take a nap. And a lot of times we just need permission to do something. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's know. okay. Oh, I can do that. It's yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so yeah, it's okay to vent in the black book because <laughs> you're going to burn this uh, eventually. And then you'll be left with all the good memories. I love that. Hey. I love that. So if somebody wants this, they can have this. These are brand new. I just brought them in today for this. So if you want them, you can have them. Pass them on to one of our caregivers that could really use them. So if there's so. a caregiver out there and you would like a black and a gold book, like our Facebook page, give us a comment. In the comment, put either um, gold book or black book. <laughs> or both. Or both. Um, and we'll be sure to reach out to you and make sure you are the precious new owners of a gold and black book so that you can begin your journaling. But I would say don't wait for that to begin your journaling. Mm -hmm. Get your words out and, um, and know that you have the right to those feelings. Sure, Dan, you have the right to it. You know, and a lot of times as caregivers, uh, we withdraw or we hold it in because we don't want no one else um, to think that what we're doing, uh, it may be wrong or they may, you know, you're not being judged. And so this is just a great way to release that. Kind of thing. Yeah, so pretty exciting. Self-nourish, self-love, self-care. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome, Aisha. All right. Y'all see me on McKinley. Yes. Yeah. I can deliver uh, home deliver meals too. So okay. um, uh, I don't want to take up too much time, but no, go ahead. I mean, as far as your self care goes, you know, um, I was a caregiver, and at the time you're so, you got that fogged brain, so you're not really thinking about nobody other than your, you know, the ones Cherry you care for. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I just recently learned, I knew that a lot of our caregivers are malnutrition or uh, not hydrated, you know, but I just learned that it is uh, like three quarters of our caregivers are malnutrition every day. They are doing without food and not taking in the right nutrients. So, um, you know, Brenda, mom of Brenda in the kitchen, our chef, she cooks it up yes, she and does. she can cook you up a nice meal and we can make sure you have it on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, but. Um, just a little self love there for yourself. Self love. Self -love. Release yourself of not having to cook dinner, mm -hmm. <laughs> cook dinner tonight. Uh, you know, if you find during the week that you uh, want a good home cooked meal, McKinley yeah. can do that for you. So, you know, I, I, as we close out, I will just mention um, McKinley Caregiver Resource Center. We uh, relaunched uh, our new services in November. And we provide meals. Uh, we provide transportation. We have a genetic testing lab. And our beautiful facility, you can still hold events because uh, it's spaced out enough to where you can social distance, but still get that connection that you need. So you can go to our website at www.mckinleyga.com to see all the different services that we have. Meet all of our uh, directors in our, our welcome video. I invite you to watch our welcome video so that you can get an idea of how we support our caregiving community, still serving them just in a different way.